love bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being supportive. It's so, uh, so much of a blessing that our family is growing like fast i'm up to it was just like about a week ago i was just to 11 i made a thousand uh subscribers now um i'm up to 1100 subscribers so that is truly a blessing that our family is just growing and being able to show that support and bring awareness extra knowledge things that we need to know and things that we need to understand and help us process to what we need to get to to get where we want to be you know is greatly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel um like the video has been very informative to you it gave you some good vibes and you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they are truly going through some really hard times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose please share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so uh thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video oh yeah i forgot to tell you on uh, one of my love bugs uh jonah um yeah johan i think it's jonah johan cologne my one of my, my soul brothers he had came up with the idea i was supposed to tell you on my other video but i forgot to ask you um i would love for y'all to post the uh post a comment i might go ahead and put together like a, a facebook page for like all of us as um if you would like to do that uh being able to discuss things anytime we feel like a big shift and we see that something major is coming towards our way either if it's something uh omen like we need to know like you know when it comes like the, the spring equinox the, the uh the major shifts that we are feeling um like anything that has something to do with like the ascension like if I can find me some links and stuff like that, I want to be able to do it. I had like a um, spiritual Hayoka as a group, but it wasn't really moving like I wanted to. So it was, I was putting time in it, but I wasn't getting enough feedback results. So if I can get enough co um, comments on here, and I would just go ahead and tell it on every video that I do. And I forgot to say it on the other two videos, but it's all good. I'll just go ahead and put it on the other ones as well. Please leave me a comment and let me know, hey, you know, Rosalind, that's a good idea. You know, we can all have a chat. Like, I can have group chats and stuff like that. It could be kind of, or I can even do live as well. You know, um, the more things we can pull up, you know, if you want to um, go ahead and put, like, a live video on there, that's great. Um, if you have any, like, links and anything that can educate us towards things that are coming towards our way or things that you know helpful tips either like to eat um to release you know anything that's negative in our life to be able to enhance things in our life you know anything that pertains to uh hey Oka, you know empath knowledge that we need to post on there so please drop me a comment and you feel like hey rosin i would like to join that because i know there's a lot of people that are coming um towards my way and subscribing and you know it would be great if people can go ahead and give me you know um you know I'll drop a comment and say hey you know Rosalind I would love to you know enroll in that or whatever and I'll go ahead and start getting the page and stuff ready but I don't want to engage that in in that if not a lot of people are willing to do that because it, it's just like that that would be a little bit too much but um yeah I would love to be able to do that you know because I did it before and then I was doing a live feed as well and um I was doing that um yeah uh jo Johan jo what is it Joanne Joanne C Cologne I my bad if I pronounce your name wrong I'm sorry but yeah he was the one who came up with the idea yesterday and I was supposed to do it but I forgot to mention it yesterday in my video so i'm going to go ahead and mention it uh mention it in the other videos as well it even telling me that plus hey rosalyn i would love to join 
you know, and you can, you're welcome to bring stuff too as well, but it has to be very respectable. Everybody's going to respect everybody in there. You know, if there's any foul language or you're calling people out their name and stuff like that, you, you'll be totally out if we get this stuff started. So, you know, I would really love to enhance that to be able to share, you know, I'll even add more videos on there, you know, from, from the YouTube and um, all this other stuff. So, you, can, I mean, even if it's like, you know, if you're on Facebook and stuff like that and you're on like Empaths, Enlightenment Empaths and stuff like that, they usually put posts, they put links and all those other things. So, I would like to do that as well for Hey Okas because I don't think I've seen anything for Hey Okas in there. So, that would really be a good idea for we to, me to be able to do, you know, if I can get some people that can help me get this stuff done, it will it'll be great. So, I wouldn't have to do all these things by myself because it's just like enough when I'm doing videos and and emails and doing counselments on one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that so I'll try to go ahead and get that done so that would be a blessing if you if you feel like it's a good idea but anyways um the video the meditation video I'm listening to um is called oh it's very enchanting too because I'm getting very euphoric vibes off of it is is called become one with the universe universal figo frequencies uh, powerful quantum brain waves. That's why I'm feeling that way. It's like I feel tingling like right here. So if you're feeling something in, you know, close to the pineal gland and uh, your third eye and all that stuff, you know, you'll know why. But anyways, the video I'm doing today uh, is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's flip the script on, on your negative thinking. Like, I got a post the other day and I'm going to use, I'll, you know, I always go to like the my positive group uh, things on Facebook and I get a lot of my thumbnails from there because they you know and that's a lot of where my, my content come from because I can see it on a post I'm like oh that you know that resonates with me that resonates a lot of what my love bugs are dealing with let me go ahead and you know take that down and rearrange the you know what the statement said or even put the same thing down because it's like okay this is a post and I'm having a story behind the post so you know I always try to keep you know negative I mean not negative but positive you know uh music in the background I'm being very conscious about that to make sure it's not like those high pitch so it can bounce off of that and be irritating to people's uh, ears because I, I know when I watch my YouTube unless I'm like out and about or something like that I usually watch mine cast it off on TV so it doesn't sound that way to me but you know I, I'm trying to respect y'all you know uh, make sure I'm not messing with your hearing with the certain music I put on there but have it with the you know the post and um I mean with the video of you know uh vlogging about positive things is coming to our lives as well as the music so you know I want y'all to have as much positive vibes as coming through you helping you in every way but it's just like since we've been healing and now we're going through another shift it's like ah dog when's these shifts gonna be over uh crescent moon the new moon the snow moon uh Spring equinox, you know, all these different things that's been coming at us back and forth. But I know it's like for the better. It's like a blessing in disguise. I keep hearing them say it's a blessing in disguise for you. Even though it might be, you know, if it just depends on the emotion you're in at that time. If you're in that grateful moment, you'll, you'll sit up here and be thankful that they show you this. If you're at one of those irritating moments like things, is, it's like I know big shifts are coming around for a lot of y'all. Because if you've been like uh like late for appointments things are breaking you're losing stuff you might be having accidents hurting yourself and everything you're about to go through a major transformation you know because it's just like it's just too many things is coming you know coming about and it's just like you know i even asked some of my other empaths that i you know i might talk to them one-on-one -on -one. i'm like hey um are you feeling like something's you know like you're feeling like you're on, you're on the edge of a cliffhanger right now or you know something's about to shift off to you because I know uh, during the weekend I don't know if it was just because the fact is I was dealing with so much I knew the young universe is about to send me to you know even if I'm just doing this you know that that's a blessing because it's like my my situations that I'm in I can use that to be able to help others as well when they're battling with their depression their anxiety their panic attacks uh you know past hurt you know the, those memories come constantly up especially if you've been struggling with them for a long time but it's just like you know i seen a post the other day and it says the therapeutic way of uh you know dealing with your negative thinking you know when one negative comment comes up 
being able to shift your mind to better things like any memories that you had that made you happy like you know you really enjoy it you have to you know even when something negative comes up you have to allow that to say that 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 you know that memory has no power i'm not giving that memory any power no more i'm allowing it to set myself free you have to be able to imagine your you know your um your past memories that can maybe trigger you into sad emotions like it's in a balloon i've told y'all that before you know i had to tell myself that too but it's just like when that comes up because it's like now and i felt a real chill on my body good god um being able to deal with that you know while i was struggling with all that time with you know abuse from my my, my mom's ex-husband and her his wife you know her children you know it was a painful situation because all of them knew the information about my biological family and they played that against me and they held that against me i got teased for it you know um so it was just like now i can use that and i'm just like you know, I mean, a couple of months ago, if I was to bring that up, you can feel the energy shift. Like I was like, I still carried that, you know, even though I said I, I forgive them, those memories were still, you know, kind of triggering me. Now it's like when it comes up, I'm like, damn, I don't even have a fact over it no more. I'll be like, bye. All right. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. Bye. Have a good one. You know, and I mean, it was just a peaceful thing, you know, because it was just like yesterday, like I was telling y'all. Um, I knew I was being tested by the universe because it's just like when you're, uh, like, you know, when you're sneaking around, you always see those movies like in high, you know, like people in high school or whatever, they're trying to sneak up and see what's going to happen next. Or, you know, when somebody's trying to watch a movie and it's at that cliffhanger and you're just trying to see how it's going to play out. That's how the universe is like, okay, we handed her something. You see, like, shh, shh, shh. You see how she's going to react to it. And it just, I was really... I mean, it felt uplift to me because it was like, first, I felt my general adrenaline rushing, uh, turning on me, you know, when my adopted father, um, left me a message yesterday because I got all their numbers blocked. So I was like, dang, my phone didn't ring. You know, I was like, what message is that? And then being able to, you know, he invited me to a Memorial Day cookout and all that stuff. And I'm just like, uh, -uh. you know, I said, but thank you anyway for, you know, inviting me. But you know, the last time you see me, was like the last time you're going to see me. I just needed that closure. You know, I had to get the, I already got the mental. I got to get that vocal out to let you know this is the deal. I, you know, I ain't got nothing else to do with you. You cause, I mean, you messed me up mentally, sexually, physically, emotionally, mentally, all type of ways. But being able to get my power back, saying I will no longer allow you. You're not even in my life anymore. So I had to physically cut that cord from him, not just from the other day. But I had to be able to tell him on the phone because I guess he thought he had his hooves sunk into me because I was being cordial. I was like, look, I was being cordial. I did this for my daughter. I allowed you to do that. I was being a bigger person. I allowed you to see her her uh, graduation. I said, because it wasn't her idea. I told her to call you about two weeks ago, you know, so you can invite her. So this will be your last time because my daughter was like, I don't deal with them like that. So I really didn't like that. You know, I mean, it, it didn't matter to me. You know, but I just wanted her to have a lot of people there to support her. So being able to use that and just say, you know what, I can look at that and use that as a platform saying, you know, if you, you've been uh, messing with me for a long time, you will know I went through hell and high water with those people. You probably seen me cry thinking about the things that they have done to me. You know, I, I mean, it's just a blessing when I can see other people that have been adopted and they were blessed to be able to have a comforter, a comfort in home. You know, anybody who has been adopted, you know, anywhere down the line when you find out you're adopted, you would like to know about your family. You would like to get that closure and see if your family would like to meet you and all these different things. But I didn't have that kind of chance. That's why it's just like I worked so hard when it comes to others, you know, going through abuse because I know what that felt like. Because it's just like with my family, you know, you picked me from foster care. I was in, in the system. You know, it wasn't you know uh biological you had that choice to say you know what i've seen is hurtful but i've seen other people that did not want to deal with that type of situation or whatever and take the child back even though that you know i messed it up because it's just when a, when you're adopted and a lot of people don't understand that when your parents give you up it makes you already feel like you're not wanted you know even though they want you to have a better home you know my, my, my dad didn't get his record contract at that time the record contract fell through because he was trying to get it early in 76 he didn't get it until you know like about 
what is it, four or five months after I was born. So, and then he was with, I, I think it was with Warner Brothers at that time. So, you know, being able to know all these things and, you know, constantly hear my adopted mom, you know, even though my mom, you know, we didn't have the best relationship, but towards the end before she passed away, it was really great. And I cherished that because it took me a while to actually understand because I hated God for that. Like, how were you going to allow her to be the mom I always wanted and then you snatched her away from me like that? That was the worst kind of thing to go through at 25 and 26 years old. I had to be able to make all those adult decisions like about funeral uh, decisions, anything that had to do with her having major surgery on her brain. I had to be that one that had to answer all these questions, not knowing if I was one signature away from killing my mom. No child, no, I, I mean, I was still in a child's mind at 26 years old because you're not really grown, fully grown yet until you don't really spend life, you know, even though you're an adult, you know, you're not used to doing something like that. You know, that took a lot of, you know, that took a lot of nerve and it really took a lot out of me. So when I can look at my past life and say, you know what, you have grown in so many different ways. You have changed so many different ways. It's like my ex-boyfriend's other baby's mom, you know, I saw her, I still don't drink or smoke or anything no more. And she knew me, you know, when we all used to kick it together because we were all friends at one time, you know, and I was okay with her. You know, um, she was like, Rosalind, did you get saved or anything? I said, no, experiences that you go through will change you. I didn't let her know what I was going through because it was none of her damn business. But it's just the fact that when you can be able to experience something like that, and it, it's been going on for 25, 30 years, you know, that I didn't just get it from them. I grew up into it and getting into another situation. And it's like looking at the same situation my mom went through with my adopted father. But I always call her, you know, that's her ex-husband because it's like I'm a strip him of that title. I'm like, y'all just some people I know. Don't have no hate hatred against you, but I know you're messed up individuals. And I pray that you can seek closure with your life because you can't walk around destroying people's lives like that. You know, that that's just like... You know, you putting your life on a stick where, you know, you some some people would have retaliated going through the things I went through. So, you know, when you're going through these things and experiencing these in life, you know, when negative situations come to play that you're trying to desperately heal from, um, you have to be able to place something in its place that is going to bring joy and happiness to you. So allow that to happen and, you know deal with things how you need to deal with them and heal in a special kind of way because you really need to fit, flip the script on your negative thinking. You know, those things are coming up maybe because it still triggers you. Uh, it's still in the back of your subconscious. Or, you know, you're going through ascension where you're purging a lot, so it's trying to set itself free. So allow yourself to be able to do that. And I know this is on, probably going to not be out until tomorrow because it's like my videos is getting really long. But they're telling me these are the things you have to allow them to know. I mean, it's okay. You know, you're going through a lot of things. And you have been going through ascension. You have been going through so many shifts. And you should be able to be proud of yourself because... Uh, pause for the cause but going through all those different things you know has taught me a lot you know um going through negative experiences especially with you know different situations dealing with narcissistic people has really taught me not to engage in any kind of negativity allow it to hurt me for the, you know allow it to sink in at that second and then it's like if you're pissed off about it okay be pissed off of it for about two or three seconds and okay i'm over it you know and it's just like that so it's just like the situations that i've been really truly going through it has really blessed me because it allows me to let go real quick it's just like you know when something's hot and you just drop it you know even though it might make, be a mess but you know you still you don't need to be damaging yourself so i hope this was able to help you i know this is going to be almost damn near 20 minutes long so uh, <laughs> it might take about four hours just for it to upload but i would like to give a post notification shout out to ray fisher uh lisa williams um linda uh fastney fastney i hope that i pronounced that right um and Gabriel, much love to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop a line. Give me a thumbs up, and let me know. Peace. Be wild.